Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakudash. The ones unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth. And Shalom also to the Akim pushing this word in sincerity and in truth, and to the speckled bird across the four corners of the world. And to the few sisters who are listening to you, we say Shalom. Lord willing, this will be another fine lesson. We are the brothers from the GMS Chicago camp on the brother Kadashio. Brother Anyalu. And we just wanted to get into this quick uh, lesson dealing with uh, Matthew the 13th chapter. And this is Matthew 13 and 9. It says, um, Who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And that's right, man. You know, basically, it's only given unto the elect. And Lord willing, we be of that number. And it's been given to us to know the mysteries. And when you go into that uh, Greek word for mysteries, it says uh, mysterion. Strong's G, 3466, mysterion. Mysterion. Mysterion, and it says uh, a hidden thing, secret mystery, or it says generally mysteries, religious secrets, confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. A hidden thing or secret thing, not obvious to under to the understanding. And basically, the point is, is that second one, you know, basically confided only to the initiated, which the initiated would represent the elect, were the ones that have been woken up to this truth. And when we uh when we go into the world and we carry this truth with us, people, you know, will notice your spirit and try to figure out what you're about. You know, they try to pick your pick your uh pick your brain and see what your uh what 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 direction in life you're trying to be uh head into and this and that. And, and you know, sometimes when you you know when you first wake up to the truth, you start telling everybody, you know. And since they don't have the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. A lot of people would begin to scoff. A lot of people would begin to talk shit. You know, all these things will happen. But what you have to, what you have to realize is that none of these people have the mysteries. None of these people have uh, 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 have been given uh, uh, the knowledge of the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's only for the elect. So don't get discouraged when those things happen, especially for uh, new brothers that are waking up. You know, these mysteries are for us and for us only. For these people in the world, especially these two-thirds. They don't have this. You know, they're blinded. That's right. Hey, like the scripture says in Romans, man. You know, hey, it was a, uh, it's basically a curse into, you know, uh, the majority of, you know, of these Israelites, man. All right. The, uh, the scripture says, let their table be made a snare. You mm -hmm. know, you know, that they basically, I'm going to just grab it, you know, real quick. Romans, this is, uh, the 11th chapter, right? I believe it's Romans. And, uh, 11 and 7. It's 11 and 7. Kind of, kind of. Yep, yep. This is Romans 11 and verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right? The election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, man. All right? So then only the elect is going to understand, you know, and obtain, you know, these mysteries, as you know, as, as the brothers just read in the scriptures before, man. It says, According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, as that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. And to this day, all right, you know, hey, so it's it's basically a spirit of slumber upon these people, man. All right, especially to you, uh, you Israelites, man, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that continually scoff this word, all right, and the prophets, man, all right, and the prophecies that's written within this word, man, all right. That's it's, right. Mm -hmm. It says, and David saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them, all right, and and, and basically that's going into the scriptures, man, all right. Cause when you dive into this this uh this this role, you know this spiritual meat, you know this spiritual food, man. All right, you know, a hey, hey, you you can't receive or understand or understand the words that's written, man, because your table has been made a snare, man. That's all right, true. and hey, that's to to the ones that are without, man. All mm -hmm. right, no matter how much you know we break these scriptures down, you know, if you're not given that gift of faith and that and that eye salve, the scriptures talk about, you know, to understand these words, man. All right, and understand these prophecies. Mm -hmm. All right, then, hey, 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 you're not going to, uh, you're basically not going to come into repentance, man. It's calling of repentance that, you know, has been set up, you know, and you're not going to come into this grace and this faith, you know, that the Lord has given us, man. It That's says, right. verse 10, let their eyes be darkened 
that they may not see, all right? So you can't see afar off, man. You can't see the things that's coming, man. You can't see the grace that's been set before us and bow down their back always, all right? And that's what our people do, man, all right? Hey, hey, no matter how much we tell, you know, you we tell you people, hey, uh, basically your true heritage, you know, your true power, all right? You know, hey, the, the mysteries, man, all right? You know, the, the history written in these scriptures, man. Hey, 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 you always, you know, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, bow down your back, man. Always, man. You turn, you you turn your neck, you know. And you don't, you don't hearken, man. As the scripture says, man. You know, it says, uh, it says, let the eyes be darkened, man. So you're constantly just walking in darkness, man. No matter how much we shine that light, man. Kind, you know? like it says, uh, in the book of Acts. You know, our fathers always did resist the Holy Spirit. That's right. This is uh, Acts seven and fifty. I think it's fifty one. Con. This Acts 7 and 51, ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye. Uh -huh. And this has been going on since the beginning of the inception of the, the, the tribes of Israel. Even before that, man, there's always been people that have bucked up against the men of the Lord. You know, people that have always been stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. They don't want to listen to what the Spirit has to say. And the Spirit has a lot to say, man, especially right now. Uh, 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 that we're about to get salvation right now this you know right now is not the time to be asleep we're not right now is not the time to be slumbering like the scripture says as as it is written now it's high time to wake out of our sleep for our, our salvation uh, uh it's nine roughly paraphrasing you know we're about to get salvation while you people uh, uh want to remain in this world and now receive these secrets not want to uh, uh hearken unto the prophets not want to hearken unto this word you you people you know, the Lord is just giving you over unto that reprobate mind, you know, that's and that's exactly why it's only for the elect. The Lord already knew that you people were going to be like this. So what? Now your table has been uh, made a snare. That's right. Now your table has been made a stumbling block. You know, you, you want to resist the Holy Spirit? Go ahead, man. And it's written in the scriptures, man, you know, so hey, hey, hey. us as, you know, men of the Lord and prophets, man, we understand those things as well. So when we go out on these highways and byways and do these lessons, man, we're really fishing for the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, but I got a precept. It's Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9. It says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see indeed, but perceive not. All right, so this is all uh, the will of the Lord, man. This is the Lord's movie, man. All right, you know, he, he chosen, uh, you know, his few to understand these words. All right, and play out the role, you know, of, of uh, those vessels fitted for honor, man. I ain't right, chosen, hey, hey, you know, people to play out the role, you know, uh, the vessels fitted for destruction and wickedness, man. Yeah. All right, so if, if you can understand his word, then that's a blessing in itself, man. All right, because, right. hey, you got you got uh, certain people out here who will never be able to come into this knowledge, man. All right, no matter how much you break it down to them, you know, or, or you know, try and, you know, uh, show them this, 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 uh, this light, man. All right, you know, mm -hmm. it's just... It's just a uh, part of the, you know, the story, man. It That's says, right. until this people hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he said, it's like, and he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. All right? So this is like, this man, this is a glorious, you know, and, and, and graceful thing, you know, that that we have, man. All right, mm -hmm. That's why the scripture says, hold fast to that which thou hast, man. Let no man take thy crown, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because, hey, these mysteries are not revealed to many, man. All right? That's right. Especially, you know, fighting for your crown, That that's the that's uh, that's the hard part, you know? Uh, uh, you know, picking up your cross daily. You know, as Yahweh Shai said, those who, not, who, those who don't, don't pick up the cross and follow after me are not worthy of me. You know, so you have to constantly fight, fight for this truth, like the scripture says, fight for this truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for uh, for thee. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you fight for this truth, man, the Lord looks out for you. You know, and that's that's what these people in the world don't understand. Or uh, especially our own people, they try to you know make themselves the victim, and and, and you know try to make themselves like uh, you know like the Lord doesn't love them, like it says in Malachi, where has uh, wherein thou has uh, wherein thou has loved us. You know, but at the end of the day, really, is you, you two thirds, you, you haven't, uh, the Lord hasn't forsaken you, but you're forsaking your own selves. You don't want to hearken into the voice of the Lord, man. 
And that's exactly why it's only for the two thirds. Like it says in the book, uh, uh, the wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter, wisdom cannot enter into a malicious soul. Let me get that real quick. Only for the elect. Khan, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1. And uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. It says, For it says, For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. And that's uh, that's what you uh, people in the world like to do. You like to... Uh, um, you like to relish in, in, in your sins. You like to live in that shit. You don't want to repent. You want to keep uh, living how you're living. You want to keep doing the same thing you're doing. You don't You don't want to keep the law. You know, not saying that the law is going to save us. But uh, through faith, we establish the law. You know? But a lot of you people don't want to uh, be disciplined. You know, you don't want to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. And that's what happens when you... Uh, um, let the Lord, when you submit to the Lord, you know, you, you get disciplined. You you begin to walk in the spirit, man. A lot of people, you're carnal. That's right. You hey, know? As Hosea says, you know, because thou has rejected me, I also reject thee, man. You know? So, hey, that's exactly, hey, like the brother just was, was going into, man. You people ultimately reject the Lord, man. All right. And the Lord knows all your spirits. The Lord knows your hearts, your intents, man. All right. So, so at the end of the day. And he's not gonna give you this word, man, because he knows you're just gonna go and um, uh, basically just like scripture says, um, you know, uh, crucify the Lord of freshman, you know. Hey, you, you, if you two thirds got this word, man, you, you would basically just go back and, to, and and just and just completely um, completely just uh, uh disregard, man. All right, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's plenty of examples, man. How I came on the scene, all right, you know, pushing this this word, and guess what, man. The two thirds killed him, man. You know his they, own people, yeah. man. They said, "Let his blood be upon us." You know his own people, man. All right. So, hey, 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 and that's you. That's you. That's you. Two thirds coming back in the regeneration, man. All right. The same ones that scoffed and scorned the Lord, the prophets back in the day, man. All right, you're back here today, man. All right. You know it's it's all from the it's all from the foundations of the earth, man. This is the Lord's movie, man. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna, since I said that, I'm gonna grab this. This is uh, Ephesians one. In verse 4, it's, it's like in verse 3, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord, Yahushua Mashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, man. All right, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahushua Hamashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. All right, hey, so this is all, hey, from the foundation of the earth, man. All right, the Lord, hey, we, hey, the Lord set up this whole, this whole script, man. All right, you know, from the foundations, man. All right, who should, who should play the role of the elect and who should play the role of the two thirds, man? And it's just according to the grace of the Lord, man. That's mm -hmm. why, again, I say, if we, if you understand this truth, man, it's a beautiful thing, man. All right, right. And you should hold fast because, hey, we have a great reward coming, man. All right. Being a party elect, is, as they say, uh, the creme de la creme, man, all right? You know, there's nothing more precious hey, than, than striving for the, for, uh, for your salvation, man. Nothing more uh, worthy than striving for your salvation, man, all right? But you have one, Daniel? Okay. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So like the brothers were going into, man, a Yahweh Shimei Shai knows Who's a part of his flock and who isn't? That's right. You know, because the scripture is talking about that many are called, but few are chosen. Mm -hmm. That's because there's only a few chosen, man. That, that that being the, you know, the Lord's elect, and that's a very small number compared to the whole nation of Israel. But that's the Lord's first fruits. You know, that's mm -hmm. the Lord's first creation. Mm -hmm. And only only they are going to be the true worshippers because, like the scripture is talking about, you know, the brothers were going into it that uh. You know, it's something you gotta labor in. You know, and these people, these people, they, uh, they, they, in their mind, they feel like they're about it, but their actions will completely say otherwise, man. You know, that's what the scriptures talk about that the, uh, you know, the uh, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people would just say that they're, you know, they're about how about Shimei Oshai's business, but they truly are, man. They just want to satisfy their flesh. You know, they're not gonna be. You know, laboring—that's what the Lord is looking for. Actual laborers, 
they're gonna continue pushing pushing the word man that's you right know? con you that's know that's uh that's what the scriptures say as well you know uh, um uh, uh they confess me with their mouth and love me but mm -hmm. their heart is far from me right mm -hmm. you know they, these people you know they might say that they love the lord this and that they go to church pay their tithes but at the end of the day their heart is far from the lord meaning their mind their inner man their, their their inner meditation what they think about day and night they're not really thinking about the kingdom of heaven that's not really their consolation you know they're trying to see how they could balance you know the world and the lord and that's not what you're gonna do you know you either love you're either gonna love uh, uh one master you're gonna love one master and hate the other man you can't serve uh, God and mammon. You know, the, being double-minded in this truth is not going to help you, man. And that's something that only the, the elect are going to understand. The Lord willing we be those men. Because the Lord, He only reveals His secrets unto us, man. I got that right here, huh? This is Amos 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets to His servants, the prophets. All right? You know? Hey, so, hey, hey, hey. That's playing, man. You know? Kind. That's plain, man. All right, only only the Lord's chosen is gonna be able to understand these uh these these mysteries, man. That's right. All right, you know. So hey, if you if you can't understand, you know the the words that's coming out, you know, of our mouth, starting with the apostles on down, man. You know, then obviously the Spirit ain't dealing with you, man. That's right. You know, and hey, that's a scary thing, man. Because hey hey hey, these words are simple, man. To a, to a spiritual man, you know. But but hey, it's it's parables to those that are without, man. It is. It's, it's mind-boggling for a carnal man to understand these things, I got things, a good man. one, I And I got it. This is, uh, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But I'm going to get straight to the point. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's right, man. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach who is the image of God should shine unto them. That's right, man. You know, so it says, if our gospel here is, it is here to those that are lost, man, whom the Lord have blinded, man, you know? So, hey, the Lord, uh, he, he basically blinded you from seeing these things, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You know, ultimately because you're not a part of that, uh, the, that first fruits, man. You know, mm -hmm. you're not a part of that, uh, that election, man. All right? You know? Because, hey, hey, uh -huh. hey. Like I said, man, these things are, 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 are simple to a spiritual man, man. You know, we're telling you, hey, that uh, uh, as the scriptures prophesy, America is going to be destroyed, man. All right? The plagues, hey, these plagues are coming down the fan. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures, history, all right, prophecy, all right? Hey, hey, hey we're telling you, you the, you the, the true name of the Lord, man, all right? Hey, we were breaking down these scriptures, man, making it plain upon tables, telling you to repent, all right? You know, everything, you know, uh, that you can find within the scriptures, man, all right? You know? Hey, but it's parables to those that are without, man, you know? That's right. And, hey, and that just goes to show you that, it had, hey, the Lord, he, he's marvelous in his works, man, all right? Because something that's so plain, you know, could be, uh, you know, so hard to grasp, man, you know, to, to, to a carnal man, you that's know? That's right. And, and that's how you know that these people are lost and how are they lost you know they have the lust of the they have the lust of the world you know the the lust of the the lust of the flesh all those things you know and those things are not of the father they're not of the most high mm -hmm. you know so at the end of the day you know the, these scriptures this word this 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 <laughs> this this gift that we have this fear of the lord everything that comes with this walk man has only been given to the elect these mysteries of the kingdom of heaven have only been given to us and Lord willing we endure until the very end. Mm -hmm. You know, so we could receive that salvation. That's right. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, that's, you know? Yeah. So Khan, you know, with that, Lord willing, it was an edifying lesson. So we want to end it all by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, Rakadash. The one is unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the taught us his truth. Dwari Habashim Yaushai for giving us spirit to make this lesson. Wa Abai Baba Shalom.